In this week's roundup, yellow-eyed penguins in trouble, smuggled tortoises, new insight into brown snake venom, and koala saving dogs. Starting in Canada, where the Vancouver Park Board voted to ban captive whales and dolphins. Many local residents and NGOs applaud the decision, but the Vancouver Aquarium is pushing back. The facility says the ban will end its whale rehabilitation efforts. Speaking of dolphins, four of them were recently spotted tailwalking in South Australia. This is extremely rare in wild dolphins. Local scientists suspect the group is feeling playful due to an abundance of food. Over to New Zealand and trouble for yellow-eyed penguins. A new study suggests the iconic birds are in serious decline. Sea temperature is thought to be at play here, but more work is needed to find out. Exploring down under often means surprise encounters with wildlife. Two hikers met this venomous tiger snake on the trail recently, but the reptile remained uninterested in its human neighbors. Staying with snakes, new research shows that brown snake venom changes with age. The venom of young brown snakes attacks the nervous system, while the venom of older snakes has dangerous effects on the circulatory system. Off to Asia, where DNA from snow leopard scat shows they actually have three subspecies. Understanding more about the elusive cats can only help us protect them. On to some poaching news. Customs officials seized 330 tortoises that were smuggled into a Malaysian airport. The animals are worth nearly $280,000, and both species are listed as critically endangered by the IUCN. Over in South Africa, illegal export in smog giganteus, or sun gazer lizards, has also skyrocketed. About 700,000 exist in the wild, but they reproduce slowly, so experts are growing concerned. And we're extremely sad to report the white wolf found dead in Yellowstone National Park was gunned down. A necropsy by U.S. Fish and Wildlife confirmed the cause of death. Rounding off with koala-saving dogs, Bear the Border Collie and his canine compadres are trained to rescue koalas. By sniffing them out, the dogs stop koalas from being killed or injured by felled trees. That's it for this week. We want your opinions on these nature news stories. Let us know what you think in the comments below.